Hey everybody, welcome back. It's patch 724. This time we're going to be playing some jacks using Dark Harvest. So I was working on making a guide for this build, but both of these gameplays were over just so fast. I snowballed so hard, which is what this rune is great for. But I didn't think these gameplays were going to be fitting for the guide because the point of this build is the late game. So since these games ended so early, like 15 to 20 minutes, I just decided to upload these separately. So now you get a little bit of a preview of what the next Jax build is going to be. And here I have a few good options. Top and mid are both pushed, but I wanted to peek at the enemy red buff real quick to see if it was here. And then I saw the soul drop right there. So apparently the jungle is nearby, but let's grab the soul. And then gank that Heimerdinger. Even if the enemy jungler is nearby, I'm just going to try to burst down this Heimerdinger before anybody can even show up to help him. So we start with E, Q on top of him, and then after he flashes, I follow it up with flash to finish him off. And now, I don't have any cooldown, so I'm just trying to run away from this Udyr. So then I'm thinking about turning on this guy. I do have Dark Harvest proc from that kill on Heimerdinger, so I just walk up to Udyr, and right when he's about to attack me, I just activate E, auto attack reset with the W for two quick autos, and Trinomir finishes him off. That is enough money to grab Tia Matt, so let's do that. That's going to help us with our clear speed. And then after we get our Tia Matt, we go to Raptors and Krugs, kill them very fast. In patch 724B, there was a buff to Tia Matt, so now it has five more attack damage. Titanic Hydra also has five more attack damage now. And both of these gameplays were recorded before that buff, so it's even stronger now. My E is not up for three seconds, so I'm just trying to stay away from the Udyr. Finally, get my E. This guy steps into tower range, gets stunned, and can't quite finish this guy off. Very close. So then let's just grab these last minions and go back to farming the jungle. Grab our red. Looks like he stole our wolves. Let's grab Gromp and Blue. And then the enemy mid lane is pushing right now more than the enemy top lane, so let's run down to mid lane. Activate E. But, she's dead before I can get the assist. Continuing to farm, wasting no time to get these Dark Harvest stacks. Then I waited in the bush. Udyr's running over here to try to get his red buff. Big chunk of health. He flashes over the wall, so I just followed And then Q to catch up to him. Stun him, activate W and TM mat, burst him down. And there's the enemy Heimerdinger, we see him on the map, so we ping on the way. I'm just gonna activate ult to be safe. Our mid lane comes over too, and we got that easy kill. There's one more camp to kill over here, the Krugs. Then we move down towards the other half of the map. Scuttle, Wolves, Raptors, Krugs. Check out the map, we just killed a lot of stuff. And now it's time for bot lane. And as if on cue, the enemy jungler shows up. Again, we have a buffed auto. So we catch this guy by surprise, we get him once again. Bot lane gets another kill, and I ping dragon. Then they're going to help me take out this dragon, and I really have to go back to base because I need to spend all this money. So I decide to pick up the tracker's knife, titanic hydra, and basic boots. Grab red. Enemy bot lane is pushing again. So we're going to run down there. Try to jump on the Vayne. They use both their ults. For some reason, Vayne steps into tower range, gets Ash ulted. And the enemy blue buff just spawned, so let's run over there. Take out the ward. And quickly steal this blue buff. Now let's move on to the other half of the jungle. We have a ward in that high traffic bush. Enemy red buff is about to spawn, so we're just going to steal this one now. Big wave of minions up top. Let's quickly grab this and then run back to mid lane to try to get a kill on this guy. Activate E, Q, forces flash. Then we're going to kill all these camps in this area. Scuttle, Romp, and Wolves, and move on to the enemy Krugs. So right now I got a buffed auto from that Dark Harvest stack on the Krugs. So I'm just going to use this buffed auto on this Heimerdinger now. Activate E, he flashes out, but I followed up with my flash. Huge burst damage. Trinomir finishes him off. 
So now we get this tower. We get one more soul from this cannon minion. Let's go back to base. Let's grab Sheen and Cinder Hulk. And that is the end of game number one. The enemies just surrendered. So let's move on to game number two. Same first clear out, and then after the clear, we choose top, mid, or invade. And this time, the Riven was pretty pushed up, so that is the one we go for. And we still have a buffed auto from that red buff, so we're just going to jump on this Riven, stunner, get our buffed auto, a lot of damage, and I'm just going to use my flash to finish off that Riven. Sweep the enemy jungle, grab Scuttle, grab Raptors, and then the enemy Riven is back up in top lane, so I was going to run up there to try to kill her again. But then we found the enemy jungler over here. Sidestep the axe. Staying out of vision as I get close. Here comes my mid laner too, and that could not have gone any better. So let's go back to base. That's going to be Tiamat and Basic Boots. On the way back out, let's kill Wolves and Gromp, and then let's try for a kill in mid lane. So I was waiting patiently because Vygar was going to see me if I ran out too soon, but then after he killed this last minion right here, he pushed out a little bit further, so it gave me a little bit of better angle so I can get around further. Got me enough time to stun him, burst him down real fast before he could cage. Let's just invade, steal Wolves and Gromp, and scuttle, and then I'm going to do a full clear of my jungle. So I'm going to start at one side, either Krugs or Gromp, and then move through the entire jungle to be the most efficient. So we're starting with Krugs, and then red buff's about to spawn. Then we'll go down to Raptors, and then Wolves, and Blue. And Gromp, it looks like it's your lucky day. But before going for a kill in mid lane, let's grab one more soul from this Rift Scuttler to grab that buffed auto attack. Then let's just flash Q on top of the sky to finish him off. And getting that kill gives me another buffed auto, so this Olaf shows up. He ults, so I can't stun him, but we do a lot of damage real fast. I'm pretty low health, don't really want to dive, but then Gragas jumps in, takes tower aggro, gives me enough time to jump in, get that last hit. And we get that tower. 2900 gold, let's go for the Sheen, Stinger, and Tracker's Knife. Enemy Vigar is running to bot lane, so let's try to follow this guy, try to help our teammates, because a big fight is about to happen. We do have a buffed auto attack ready, so we just finish off that Kate real quick. And then I was trying to chase these guys, just ward jumped towards them. I thought the Gragas was going to ult him back, and he did, and so I was going for that max range stun. Couldn't quite get him, but we did get that kill. And we got the tower. So now, ping on the way to Dragon. Leave a couple wards because we have so many. Then I saw Olaf run in this direction on the map, so I ping that. Use this plant to check. And there's Zillion too, so let's not fight these guys. Then I was just farming mid lane. And Gragas comes in for the gank. And we just burst this guy down again. But here comes the Riven teleport, and I am just about dead. That E buys me another couple seconds. Q to the scuttle, smite it for the health. But I just cannot sidestep these axes. Too bad my top lane didn't come to help me because I survived for a pretty long time, and that would have been great if I escaped. So when I respawn, I'm just going to have to wait for 5 more seconds to grab this Trinity Force. Big power spike. Then I just quickly did a full clear, killing every single camp. And we still have a buffed auto from that large Krug, but it's about to expire. So I just flash queued on top of Riven. Look at that damage from that auto attack. It's huge. And that is a dead Riven. This tower is down. I'll steal the Gromp, War jump away, and now I'm going to try to flank these guys because they're still farming these minions in lane. So the Olaf is over here, pretty low health. We get the Zillion Flash. Zillion ults Olaf to save his life, and now I'm getting ready to jump back in for when Olaf comes back up. Jin uses ult, I stun him, help our Jin land those shots. And guys, that's going to be another surrender. So guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you want to see more videos like this one. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about the build. And I will see you guys again next time.